guys and welcome back to Searland Styles. Today will be the second video in my thrifting kind of series. If you haven't watched my first video, it's why I think you should become a thrifter. So check that video out if you haven't already. But today I'm going to be going over tricks and tips of the thrift store and I'm hoping I don't miss anything. I feel like I'm going to make this video and then tomorrow I'll be like, oh no, I should have put that in there. But I have a list and I want to share with you as much as I could come up with. So number one today is going to be learning your stores, learning what discounts they have, when they restock things, call ahead or ask when you walk in and just ask what deals are going on. Um, long term, you want to try to figure out what deals are on what days. So for instance, in my hometown, I like to typically shop at the Salvation Army and Wednesdays are usually half off clothing. And in my hometown, there's like, I think like five different tag colors and Three of the tag colors go on sale on Wednesdays and they switch it up. So look out for that. Now where I live now, the Salvation Army near my house on Wednesdays is 50% off all clothing, which is fantastic because then I don't have to be searching like, oh, is this the tag that's on sale and all that. They have like um, a 50% off senior day. So, you know, grab your grandma and go shopping. I'm kidding. Once you kind of understand the schedule, it makes it so much easier. And you can also ask them when they typically restock their stuff, whether it's in the morning or the afternoon or specific days of the week, do they stock new items? And then you can go in and kind of get like the first dibs on the good stuff. The second tip and trick today is going to be online. You can sometimes get Goodwill discounted gift cards. So let's say like a $30 gift card for like 25 bucks. They're on different websites and stuff. And I don't know if they do it anymore. I haven't looked into it in a second, but I'm pretty sure they do. So go online, check out if you can find any of those. And then it's an extra discount on top of the discounts that you're already getting. Number three today is going to a Goodwill outlet. Now this is not a normal store. You will not find clothes on the racks like normal. There's just big buckets of clothes and it's just kind of a free for all. You go in, you pick out stuff. You can't, I don't think you can try it on. I typically don't go to these stores, so I'm not going to act like I know everything about them, but you go in, you pick out items and you pay per pound. It's the cheapest way to thrift shop. I personally don't really like to do this because I like to be able to kind of like go through and take my time and try things on. And usually with the outlet stores, it's like a free for all. Everyone's like, trying to grab the good stuff as fast as possible. And that's just not relaxing for me. So I don't really like to do that. Number four is don't forget about antique stores. They're technically secondhand stores. I consider them in the thrifting realm of things and I love them. Now, some antique stores can tend to be expensive, but there are some really great ones out there to get really good items at a good price at. I was just at one the other day. I found a couple purses and a bracelet and everything I bought was like under $12 a piece and very unique. Um, this is great for home items as well. If you want some really unique home decor, an antique store is a perfect way to go. Number five is checking locations. Now I love like the hometown, the closest one to me. I know that place in and out. I feel comfortable there. I love it. But if you want to travel outside your area and check out different things, not only is it going to give you a whole nother store of stuff to look through, but also some stores kind of have more furniture than others. Some have more clothes than others and you can kind of vary it on what you're looking for. And as you shop around, you kind of figure out what stores you like for different things. Number six, check for damages, holes, stains. You can't really return thrift store stuff. So you really want to make sure what you're bringing home you're going to like. Take it, spin it around, make sure everything's good with it. Make sure there's no hidden stains or stitches that look like they're going to come undone. With furniture, you want to make sure it's not wobbly and just make sure you're getting a sturdy piece. Along with that, bringing us to number seven is trying things on. Now, I know some of you think trying things on at the thrift store is dirty. I don't personally care. I don't know. I'm. It doesn't really bother me the way I think about it. Like, yes, it's a used item. Yes, they may have not washed it. Like, I get it. And, you know, I wouldn't try on, like, undergarments or bathing suits. And typically, I don't buy that stuff from there anyway. But, you know, to me, it's no different than like touching a door handle. You know, you have like so many germs on things like that. So to try on some clothing that hasn't been washed immediately, I'm okay with it. And as soon as I get them home, I wash them before I wear them long term. But trying them on not only ensures that you are going to like that item on you, that it fits correctly, but it also helps you find things that could be wrong with the item easier. I always find 
that when you put them on, you tend to find any problems rather than like holding it up. It can be a little bit difficult to find those areas. Bringing us to number eight, the try on rack. Right when you exit the changing room area, there's a rack that everyone puts their stuff on if they don't want it. This rack is great because you can usually find items that are good because people are wanting to try it on. So I like to check that and just make sure there's nothing that sticks out to me. The next tip is gonna be more about upcycling. So if you were to take clothing and make something else out of it, my tip to you would be to use pieces that have a lot of fabric to work with or buttons you like. So if I'm ever going to upcycle something, I like to use skirts, dresses, men's clothing, clothing that's a couple sizes up for me so I can make multiple pieces out of it. Basically, the more fabric you have on the item, the more you can do with it if you're going to take apart and make something else out of it. So number 10, I'm not really sure if this is a tip. I was kind of like iffy whether to put it on the list or not, but needless to say, I want to share it with you guys. So it's on there anyway, but I wanted to say to always check the dress rack. Now, if you're not a big dress wearer, skip this step. What's so good about the dress rack is I just feel like that's where you're going to really save your money. I cannot tell you how many times I've had a wedding to go to, an event, or just wanted a new dress. And instead of going to a department store where I have spent anywhere from $20 to $100 on a dress before, you can find some really amazing dresses at the Salvation Army. I kid you not, I probably have 20 dresses in my closet right now that were all thrifted. And I always go on deal days and I have some of the most beautiful dresses for like four or five dollars. And that is always the first place I go in the store. Along with that, dresses and skirts are the most easiest to kind of hem, make shorter. If you find a long dress, but you'd prefer it to be a shorter dress, it's a super easy thing that anyone can do, even if you're not super into sewing. So just a lot of flexibility with that. The next tip is going to be to shop in the wrong season. So you are gonna find great deals this way. These sections won't be as picked over. So basically you want to be shopping for your winter coats in the summer and your summer clothes in the winter. And this can be a little hard because when you're actually in the season, you typically want to be finding clothes in that season because you're excited to wear them. And I totally get that. But I'm telling you, if you pick out a nice winter jacket in the summer months, it, you're going to have so many more choices. They're going to be cheaper in price. So just keep that in mind. Always be looking out for things that you might not necessarily wear immediately, but could be an item that you would really like. Tip number 12, if you can sew a little bit and have a little bit of creativity, on the topic of upcycling, you can totally make a business out of thrifting. You can buy name brand things and sell them on a website. You can buy home decor and upcycle it, throw a coat of paint on it, new handles, make a profit off of it when you sell it. So many people are making businesses off of thrifting and it's such an easy way to make a little extra income. The second to last tip today is recognizing that areas might have different things. So if you go to a very ritzy area, the prices may be affected by that, but you might get some better brands, some more expensive fabrics. If you go to a beach area, you might have better luck on finding summer clothes. And if you go to a cooler area, more winter clothes, things like that. So just keep in mind that different areas are going to give you different products. And the last and final tip today is to take your time and have fun. So if you're watching this video, I assume you already are interested in thrifting. So having fun should be pretty easy. Take a friend, do it by yourself, whatever you're comfortable with. I like to take my time. I'm telling you, the longer you spend in that store, the more gems you will find. In a thrift store, they're organized, but there's only one of every item. And you really have to kind of like pick through and go through every item if you want. You know, it just depends on how much you wanna find and what deals you're looking for. There's days that I'll go to the thrift store and I'll specifically go to the dress area because I'm looking for a dress for an event. And then there's days where I have two hours to kill and I go in and I patiently look through everything and I find the best deals. So even if you have to go through the same aisle twice, you might find something you didn't see before. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe down below. I will be posting more thrifty videos. So if you're interested in that, make sure to follow my page so you can see all the new ones I'm gonna be posting. I hope you guys have a great day. I hope you guys have fun thrifty shopping and I will see you guys next time.